everyone. Good morning. Today I have my fiance. Today we're going to make some breakfast. We have French toast, hash brown eggs, pancakes, and bacon. As you already know, cooking on Sunday with the chosen one. You know? Ask you the chosen one. Of course. I'm guessing because I'll be here sometimes on Sunday, so, you know, just here to help out. You know how I do it all the time. So, what are we talking about, sweetheart, today? So, I know a little bit about what we're going to discuss. You can start. Okay, well, I guess since I'm starting, of course, then I want to talk to y'all today. So, what we're going to talk to y'all about today is, you know, the importance of waiting on the right partner before you choose to give yourself away sexually. We're also going to talk about why it's important to get your partner to be on the same terms with you. Because sometimes, of course, you know, that don't always work out that way. So I'm going to let the chosen one start off speaking and giving her thoughts. And then I put my input and we'll go from there. All right, let's get started. Go ahead, bud. Talk to me. Okay. Take it to see. Y'all know we make eggs. Start with some French toast just to be happy to feed you. Y'all know how we do on Sundays. Y'all seen us last week on breakfast, you know. All right. Okay, I believe when you in a uh, relationship with your partner, the first thing you want to do is have um, standards so they know where you at and where you stand. Right, right. So you want to have standards. You want to let him know, baby, I'm waiting, you know, okay. to, yeah, I'm waiting to have sex or I'm not ready yet. You got to talk to your partner. Just be straightforward with them and let them know where you stand. And just always have boundaries you gotta have boundaries standards um your belief you need to tell them are you a christian what are your belief all of this stuff when you're in a relationship now everybody isn't perfect though you know um all of us are not perfect we all sin you know we all try our best to stay on track especially as when we're christians you know i'm still learning myself even as a reborn person how to walk in the right direction and stay focused on god and you know, stay on the right track as far as life go, like I told y'all the last time. For those of y'all who are couples that are trying hard to stay on the right track, which I have slipped up before, don't feel bad. Sometimes we make mistakes, and God knows that because God knows us better than we know ourselves. That's why God is important. That's why God plays a heavy role in our life, because God is a loving God. You know, he loves us for us. That's the good thing about us. He died for our sins. God is a forgiving God because God knows that we're not perfect. We ain't been perfect since we had the Adam and Eve situation. You know, when Eve bit the fruit, you know, so we all understand that sometimes we make mistakes. But the important part is if you do make a mistake, the important part is to talk to your partner about it. Don't, don't feel down about it and let this de-escalate your relationship, talk to each other, get back on the same page, become one. That's the important thing. Remember, you have to be one. That's called having a strong foundation. You get back on track, y'all talk about it, and get back focused on God. Give us a second. You know we have kids, so you know how that can go. You want to go see what's going on. But you know, you have to get back on track. You have to focus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook these sturdy eggs for a while. You know? on the eggs y'all see uh, all right but yeah you have to you know get back focused on god you know and um the way you do that is after you have a conversation with your partner the next step that y'all take is y'all pray you ask god to help y'all get back focused to help y'all to be able to resist temptation to help y'all to do what y'all need to do to grow and keep on focusing and moving as one in his will. Now, 
Again, for those who haven't met the right partner, as she said before, you have to set your standards. Because when you meet somebody, sometimes everybody's not on track with you. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? You know I don't lie. Y'all know how I'm coming with it. Y'all seen me this month. Y'all third time seeing me. Y'all saw the first video we did together in the living room. Y'all saw me last week on Cooking on Sunday with the Chosen One, right? Here we go again for another episode of Cooking on Sunday with the Chosen One. This is the third time seeing me, so y'all know how I come. I keep it a stack at all times. I keep it real with y'all. When me and my woman got back together, okay? This is after I got was in the hospital and I got released, right? Me, I'm a very I'm a very active person, okay? I'm a man. I got needs. You understand what I'm saying? She was on a whole different track, okay? She wanted me to wait. That wasn't easy for me. It's not an easy thing. I had to, and I talked to y'all about this before. Was it last week? But it was the week before. Compromise, okay? I had to compromise with her. Because my biggest thing was, I had to think about this. Is my needs more important? With, then it, it, basically, is my needs more important? Is it more important for me to have sex? Or is it more important for me to mess around with a different woman and just not be in this relationship at all? Or is it more important for me to be with a woman who's going to love me, that I can grow with? A woman who's going to mold me and help me to become a better man? A woman who is going to be by my side through thick and thin? I had to make a decision. So I chose to compromise with her, okay? And I put my selfish needs to the side and I focused on things that she wanted. And I also made that become a way of life for me. It's not easy in the beginning, but it can be done. If you love somebody, you're willing to compromise. It don't matter if you're a man or you're a woman. When somebody really loves a person, you're willing to compromise. What people got to realize is sometimes people tend to get caught up in this whole world of thinking that, that you know, the sex is more important and all this stuff. What y'all don't really realize is if you really want long term in a relationship, the bond comes first. It's the bond that solidifies the relationship. Yes, sex is good. Yes, yes, sex brings spirits into one. Yes, it's fun to do, you know. But what keeps y'all together is the bond that y'all built outside of that. You know, where you can have a long conversation in the bedroom, just sit back and watch a movie, eat some popcorn or something, chips, whatever, you know. Them, them times where, you know, as a man, you know we how we do sometimes. You get your girl some flowers, drop them off, have them dropped off at her job or something. You know, romantic gestures like that. You know, calling your lady while she's at work. Hey, babe, I miss you. While she out with her family on a vacation or something real quick, a little two-day vacation. You know, hey, babe, I miss you or something like that. Talking to her on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or your woman, you coming home from a long day at work. You know what I'm saying? She got your bath water ready. You know what I'm saying? She uh the turned on a movie for y'all, you know, or you work or you off work for that day. She letting you sit in the living room, watch ESPN. She cooking you dinner, breakfast and lunch because she know you've had a hard week. And she's sitting in there watching sports with you. You know, them little justice, you know, always being able to, you know, have a conversation amongst each other, you know, on a day to day basis. Those, you know, are the, 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 the little justice that matter in a relationship, okay? Again, why is it important to wait until you're married to have sex? Okay, I know a lot of y'all who might see this video for the first time, you know, everybody hasn't been following as your chosen one from the beginning. So a lot of y'all might just see this video for the first time and just now starting to tune into a channel and trying to learn the Christian way. For those who wanna know why it's important, I'm going to give you an answer to somebody that's trying, okay? I'm not perfect. I'm still trying. She has it down packed. She's been doing this her whole life as a Christian. I haven't, okay? I'm going to give you my honest answer of why it's so important to wait. I believe the reason why it's so important to wait when you're in a relationship to have sex until merge is because sometimes we tend to meet somebody, you know? This goes for both the men and the women, 
You can't be sexist here. Like I said, I keep to the stack. I don't judge nobody. And when it comes down to me talking about stuff, I don't sit there and play one side. I'm not going to sit there and make it seem like, oh, as a man, this is what women should do. Woo -woo oh, 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 they did that. No, I don't play them type of games. I keep to the real with both sides. I, I stay on both sides. So, again, you know, the reason why I feel like it's important to wait is because... You know, a lot of times when, and this, like I said, goes for men and women. When you meet somebody, you know, you tend to think like, like just, you know, when you first meet them, wow, this person is so different. Wow, um, this person really, like, is interested in my life. You know, because when you ain't never had that type of love from somebody, you know, it's, it's, it, it captures your attention. It grabs you. You know, you, you get wrapped up in it. You know, ain't that right, boo? Yes. You know, you get wrapped up in it. So... You know, um, you don't never really know somebody when you first meet them, okay? And I'm not talking about off the rip. First off, when you first meet them, you can be two months into your relationship, three months into your relationship. Hey, you can be five months into it, and you really don't know this person. So as y'all make love, you know, whenever that is, whether it's five months or a year into it, this person, whole time they change up on you. Mm -hmm. They no longer sending you no romantic gestures like they used to. They're no longer being respectable about when they talk to you. You know what I'm saying? They're no longer, you know, caring about your wants and your needs. You know what I'm saying? They're no longer trying to be there for you like they used to be. You know what I'm saying? And again, this is both women and men that change up on each other, right? You know, and then, then you kind of like, dang, well, what happened to that person who, 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 who was so loving, so caring, who did this, who did that? You know? What y'all gotta understand is a lot of people are like chameleons out here. They change colors. They switch up. You cannot see them. It's like camouflage, okay? You know, you can't really see their true colors. They do a good job of hiding it. You know? So that's why, in my opinion, keyword, my opinion, it is important to wait until you're married. Because when you're married, you become one. You become whole. You can't run from that. Some people do, I'm not gonna lie. Some people get a divorce, okay? They say, I can't do this, all right? Boom. But for those who get into it and they actually get married, you might have married where you met the right person. And you found that out because you really waited. And it was worth the wait. So that's just my opinion. Also, it's the right way through God as well. You wanna be respectful to God as well, especially if you're a real Christian. That's important is to follow his way. You know, so again, those are my thoughts. Let's hear what Ashley, the chosen one, has to say about why it's important to wait. I want to hear her opinion from beginning to end. Don't y'all want to hear her opinion? I do. <laughs> yeah, so honey, talk to him. Okay, so it's important to wait for marriage because God will bless you when you wait. When you wait, God will bless you. He will bless your household. He will bless everything. And you be looking like, Lord, where is all of this coming from? Because obedience is better than sacrifice. And I want to say it's important to obey God. You know, if you obey him and listen to what he's saying, we can um, all be blessed. Because, you know, it's, it's just very important to just respect him you know respect respect god because he will bless you and it's important to wait you know it ain't a quick thing you know just take your time you know i know it's the style everybody want to do it everybody want to get a feeling everybody want to get a touch but get a touch from god allow god to be you know let, allow god to heal you allow god to restore you that's why you're dealing with that breakup that's why you're going through what you're going through because you need god to touch you once you allow god to touch you you know he will bring that man he will bring that woman towards you so just respect god you know and he will he will bless you in your household and just keep praying keep fasting keep allowing him be a part of your life and just wait just wait until you get married. When you when you wait on God, he'll bless you and your partner. And take that partner, you know, take the person that you love. You love him, take him to church. You love him, bring him to your church. Allow him to meet your parents. Allow him to meet, you know, your, your church members. And let him know, I love you. I want you to go to my church. You know, I, I took him to my church, brought him to my church. I cared about his soul. 
You know, I ain't, I wasn't worried about you know the sex. I mean, it right, was it right. was there. Right. But a long time ago, she's speaking of, of course. It was there. You know, we was we was sexually active back then. But now we waiting on God to bless us and everything. So we trying it a different way. Back then, we was you know we was active, sexually active. Right now, we doing it the way that God want us to do it. We believe in waiting. Honoring God and respecting Him. Right. So that's for, you know, a couple of people that have been asking, are we waiting? Yes, we waiting on God. For those, and I'm talking directly to this camera right now, okay? To those who keep on asking, are we really waiting? First of all, you shouldn't be on this if you want to ask questions, okay? We only here for the ones who want to hear us, okay? For the ones who don't want to hear what we have to say, then that's okay too. Okay? But understand this. Understand this, right? First though, are we really waiting? First though, the truth tell y'all the truth. And I'm gonna give it to y'all straight because I'm not her. Like I said, I'm still I'm still a working man trying to become who God wants me to be. It's none of your goddamn on business. All right, it's really none of your business, but I'm going to be respectable enough to be mature about the situation. Because I don't feel like we owe anybody an explanation because our relationship is our relationship. Our love is our love. What we're doing to grow is what we're doing to grow. Just like in anybody else's situation, your relationship is your relationship, and what you're doing to grow is what you're doing to grow. I take it from here, baby. Go ahead and get her settled. <clears throat> but... To answer y'all question, are we waiting to be sexually active? And have we been sexually active since we've been active together? Yes, we are waiting on God. It's the truth. Again, me, brother, you be, you might not believe her, but I'm telling y'all, I'll keep to the stack. We are waiting until merge to have sex. Again, like I said, it's not easy. We do have our times when we do, you know, Feel like, yeah, you know, whoop, 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 whoop. but we always, when those type of situations come, we either pray or we just move away from each other. You understand? Um, Have we been waiting to have sex since we've been back together? Did we ever slip up? Almost slipped up. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like I said, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a liar. I always give it to y'all straight every time I come on this. That's how I be coming. Keeping in a thousand. We almost slipped up when we first got back together. After I healed enough, you know, because after I had my surgery and everything and recovered, we did almost slip up one time. Okay? But God allowed us the strength to realize that we were doing wrong. And that she was about to ruin, ruin, you know. A strong bond that she worked hard to build. She was about to ruin and go backwards on hard work that she put in to become the person that she became. So we didn't do it. And we've been on a straight path. It's been since the beginning that we've been on a straight path. So please, if you're here to judge, don't come on it. Don't come on these vlogs. Don't come on these vlogs. If you're here to judge, don't get on her lives. You know what I mean? If you're here to judge, because this is a channel where this... This lady right here, the chosen one. Again, let me show y'all who I'm talking about here. The chosen one comes on here every day, okay? From sun up to sundown. She gets up early in the morning to talk to y'all. She doesn't have to do that. She does it because she loves y'all, okay? As her people. Rather you're a man, rather you're a woman, okay? She spreads love to everybody. She wants everybody to go closer to God. Like I said on the last video, so... You know, at the end of the day, give her give her a fair chance. And I'm still learning myself. You know, she really wanted me to join in her videos sometimes. So that's why we had cooking with Sundays. You know, a couple of Sundays you might not see me here. So if she don't drop a vlog of cooking on Sundays with the chosen one, then that means I'm not here. Cooking on Sundays with the chosen one is only done through us as a couple, okay? And that's only on Sundays, by the way. We will have a channel coming soon. You know, when we do things as a couple, you know, you'll see us doing vlogs together and stuff like that. And when that time comes, we'll let y'all know the information for that. But right now, you only see me on Sundays, okay? Um, like I said, don't judge us as a couple, 
okay? Because we're not perfect. But, again, we do really practice what we preach, okay? We're not going to sit here and tell y'all, oh, wait to have sex, and that's the right way to do it through God, and, you know, right for your right partner, and, you know, like we talked last week about going through the storm and compromise and stuff like that. We're not going to sit here and preach to y'all and tell y'all about compromise if we're not practicing that amongst ourselves as a couple. We're not going to sit here and preach to y'all about how important it is to have a foundation if we're not building a foundation as a couple, okay? Now, don't, we, again, we're not perfect. Here, babe, you can put them eggs. Man, I'll go ahead and put them on a the plate so I can start making the bacon. Again, we're not perfect as a couple. We still go through our ups and downs. We're still learning how to compromise and get better. We're still learning how to, you know, become better as um, a couple, you know, as far as, like, um, compromise, you know, trust, unity, all that. But we have come real far, real far. We about to be married within a month or two. Things are going great. We haven't had no problems. One, and like I said, one of the key things to having a long-term relationship and having less problems, keep people out your business. Please, don't tell your mama your business. Yeah, you go through stress. Yes, sometimes it's hard with your partner. You be wanting to vent to somebody. But sometimes as men, we got to learn how to deal with our problems on our own. We got to learn how to take it on the chin. When you was outside thugging, you took them problems on the chin when you went home every night and cried, right? You know what I'm saying? When you go to work every day and you provide providing for your family, you got to listen to your boss and deal with them problems. You take that on the chin every day, right? You know what I'm saying? When you go in the gym and you lift the weights... You know your arms are hurting, but you're you going to keep putting in that work because you want to keep your body going, right? You want to get stronger, right? We, we take that on the chin. You know what I'm saying? When we go through regular daily life situations, right? It's your health. You fight health battles for those fighting health battles. We take those on the chin. So when you go through pop, problems with your partner as men, you got to learn how to take stuff on the chin. Don't run to your homie. Your homie could be jealous and want your woman for himself. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't run to your mama. Your mama, your mama could want been wanting you to break up with her because, you know, in the end of the day, she didn't support your relationship from the beginning. You know? Excuse us, as you know, we have kids, you know. So I know y'all understand for those who have kids, you know. But um, you know, this this different different times and different situations, you know. Uh you just gotta you just gotta take it on the chin, man, and learn how to deal with it. I'm I'm doing that as well. I'm not gonna lie. You know, in the beginning, I used to go to my mom's, like, mom, boo, 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 you know what I'm saying? That was in the past, you know what I'm saying? I did that, you know, but I learned from that, you know what I'm saying? You want to have a strong foundation. Well, ladies, I'm not going to speak on y'all. Of course, I usually keep it real with both sides, but that's what I had my lady here for. I want her to talk to y'all some more. So I'm going to let her talk to y'all ladies and tell her as a, tell y'all as a lady what y'all need to do when it comes down to having problems in your relationship. Okay? I spoke to the men, and I'm gonna let her speak to the women. All right. Okay. I'm cooking, as you can see. They for, talk to them. For talk the, the ladies, ladies, I would say, you know, keep keep family members out your business. Stop telling everybody. Every time you and your husband, or every time you and your, you know, the person you're in a relationship with, stop telling them. Your business to them because I got this. I got this. because it's it can mess up the whole relationship because sometimes people can miss you know miss something or misunderstand what you both are saying. So I would just say keep your mother, keep your father, keep your family out your business because it can mess up it can mess up everything and you just want to be praying. You want to be a woman that pray. You don't want to be a woman that gossip. And just be telling people everything. Just pray. Be a woman that pray. Be a woman. Every time you have a problem, stop running to people. Just pray. Ask God what to do. Ask God to lead you. You know, lead, ask God to lead you the right way to go. And just, if you have problems with your partner, ask God to change his heart. Just don't be sitting there talking about, Ma, let me tell you. He getting on my nerves. I'm so tired of him. I'm going to pause him. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to do all this. You got to, you can't be doing that. You can't be doing that if you're a Christian. If you're a Christian, you got to live holy. You got to be holy. You got to ask God. First of all, ask God to change your heart. Ask God to change your heart and ask God to work on you and your partner. 
Pray for him. Be a woman that pray. Don't be talking about your partner. When he down, you lift him up. When he going through, you pray for him. Prayer Don't, works. Prayer changes all things. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, prayer changes all things. Yeah, prayer changes. Yes, all yes, right, right. So, prayer does change all things. You know, again, look at us as a couple. Like I told y'all last year, living testimony right here. You know, why? How do I know that prayer changes everything? You know what's funny, right? <laughs> And I'm going to tell y'all this, because I think I spoke about this the first time y'all saw me, you know, when we were sitting on the couch before we started doing the cooking on Sundays with the children, and, you know, um, and her husband or whatnot. But, um, you know, we all pray to, you know, some of us who pray, we pray to God. And I know some of y'all probably be thinking like, you know, I'm so tired of praying because I prayed for a Mercedes Benz. I prayed for my job to pay me more money. I prayed for my health to get better or you know i pray that um i would have a house in a month i pray for this i pray for that and it seems like god ain't listening because i've been going through this some of y'all you know y'all y'all go through these things and, and y'all so quick to give up on god you know y'all so quick prayer works okay i'm speaking to y'all for myself i'm not even gonna tell y'all no more that we're living proof I'm going to speak for myself. It works, okay? Here's the thing that y'all need to understand. And, I, and I'm gonna, again, I spoke about this on the first video. God does not give you things when you want them. Yeah, you've been praying for a year for a car. Maybe it's not time for you to have that car. But I guarantee you when it's time and you really need that car and God ready for you to have that car, you're going to get that car. When it's time for you to have that house. You're going to get that house that you prayed for. When it's really time for you to have more money from your job, you're going to get more money from your job. Maybe you didn't get blessed with that because if you would have had more money, you would have blew through it. It would have put you in debt. Or maybe, you know, um, you didn't get another thing because it wasn't time for you to have that for a reason. Like I said, God's timing is everything. God, you know, let me put this up because, you know, I, I, I do when I come out of the oven. I protect my jewelry and stuff, you know. No, I'm not materialistic, but... I like to take care of what I have. You know, I don't have to like to keep having to spend money over and over again. I'm trying, you know, learn and teach my woman how to, you know, save money and ways to save money. You know, we're learning. She's learning that as well. You know, she saves money real well. But I'm kind of like, <laughs> I'm kind of like Terry Crews off of you know, everybody hates Chris. She'll be looking at me like I'm crazy. Like she'll be like, honey, I'm, we getting ready to throw this away or whatever. I'm like, throw it away. <laughs> I'd be like, that's two dollars and ninety nine cent that we could have been saving up. Talk about throwing it away. She like, honey, you do too much. I'd be like, but she loved me for that though. You know, that's what, again, it's about teaching each other and growing together. That's what we do. You know. But let me get back on topic though about to y'all. Um, like I said, God's timing is everything. You know, uh, I'm going to tell y'all a quote. I think last week, you know, wasn't it last week, baby? I think last week that I uh, spoke to y'all and I told y'all something about my, something that my mother-in-law told me, which is her mom, her other mom, you know, that she told me. Um, the first time we had a conversation and we had like, uh, 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 when I had my one-on-one -on -one conversation with her. But I'm going to tell you something else that I learned from her. We had a conversation maybe a couple, I think it was a couple days ago. Something that she taught me was, no matter what you're going through, okay, keep your eyes on God. I don't know if y'all know the story, but I'm going to tell y'all the story that she told me. For those who, for those of y'all who are real Christians, been Christians for a long time, y'all know this story. For those of y'all who are just now becoming Christians, wanting to learn the Christian way, y'all don't know this story. Just like I didn't know this story. I'm just learning this story. But there was a man who was, um... I believe he was, there was, there was a flood. There was, you know, there was, there was like a flood, a big tide, a big waves, you know. And during this time, didn't nobody know if they were going to make it through or not. God started walking on the water. You know, everybody was surprised. You know how you get surprised by something? It's like, wow, like, you're amazed. Like, you're just like, if it, how did he do that? You know, you want to live. You're scared. You don't know what's going to happen next, but you see he walking on water, so you want to walk on water. So he's like, God, can I walk with you? God said, you know, yeah, you can walk with me. 
As long as you keep your eyes focused on me. Now, you know the story, right? Am I, is, am I telling this story? Yeah, you could. Okay, you could. okay, all right. I just want to make sure. Like I said, I'm not a perfect Christian. You know, I learn as I go. You know, I just want to make sure I'm telling the story to these people correctly because yeah. I want to make sure. Because some people get offended when you tell it wrong, you know. So I don't Definitely. want to offend nobody. Okay, so the man, Peter, okay, I believe that's what she said the man's name was. Peter, I didn't know who the man's name was because I wasn't told the man's name. I just told the story without the man's name, right? But um, the, the man Peter, right, he, 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 he starts to walk towards God, right? He has his eyes focused on God. He's walking towards him, you know. But he starts to get scared because he sees these waves in the storm. So he takes his eyes off of God. You know, his eyes are like this way or that way or whatnot. The point is, whatever direction he was looking, he wasn't focused straight on God. So the moment that he didn't focus on God... He started to sink into the water, right? You know, he's sitting there trying to struggle to stay above water. Trying to keep his head above water. He's trying to stay alive, right? It's a whole lot. You know, but did God let him sink? No, because that's how much of a loving God God is. Even though this man fell, God still saved him. Because he loved his people that much. So the point I'm trying to make to y'all is as long as you keep your eyes on God, it don't matter if you don't get things right away. Hey, 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 uh-uh. No, no. It don't matter if you don't get things right away. You know, you still. Boo. Yeah. Come here, please. Again, y'all have to forgive us sometimes in between. As you see, we have kids. Y'all understand how it is to be a parent. So, you know, we like like that's what that's what I love about us. You know, we ain't fake. We ain't one of these YouTube couples on here faking for the camera, you know, trying to act like we let y'all in our daily lives for the world. You see we had the kids running around. Some some people be like, Oh, the kids can't be in the video or they try to blur them out when when they in the video before they, you know, play the video. We ain't doing all that. We keep it a stack. It's but, hard um, too. Very hard. Very hard. It's not easy. But um, like I said, the point is keep your eyes on God. Yes. You know, even when things are not going to your favor, even though you didn't get that promotion that will get that more money and you've been praying on it, God will bring it at the right time if you keep your eyes on him. Yes. Trust in him to get you to that promotion at the right time and ask him, when I get that money that you're going to send me, what do I need to do with it? Mm -hmm. Ask him. And I guarantee you, he, if you trust in him, keep your eyes on him, keep praying. He will come to you at the right time and tell you what to do with that money. And when he tell you what to do with that money, it might help you to become robotic. You never know. You might say you put in stocks and bonds. You put in stocks and bonds, and now you went from not having much to having a whole lot. You're straight for life. You never know what God can do for you. That's how powerful he is. When you put your trust in him. You know what I'm saying? Look at me. I'm a living testimony, y'all. I survived five surgeries. I just had my fifth one. Okay? Heart and lung transplant. Okay? I went to the transitional world. I've been through it all. It's in a coma for two weeks in the transitional world. Okay? i got to speak to God partially. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you know, like, you know, at the end of the day, God is with you at all times when you put your faith in him. God pulled me out of the transitional world when the devil tried to get a hold on me. That's when he allowed me to wake up because the devil told me in that transitional world, like I told you on the last video, I want you to stay here because you're talented. I can use you. God said, uh-uh. That's when that little door opened up, up there. And that's when I started hearing my mother talking. She'd be like, move your hands. I'm moving my hands and stuff like that because when you keep your eyes on God and you're that blessed, he's always going to walk with you. Even in moments like that, I was in a transitional world through a coma, okay? The transitional world is real. For those of y'all who've been in the coma, y'all might have been there. For those of y'all that haven't, I'm telling y'all, that's a place you're going to go at some point in time if you end up in a coma. Some of us don't get that lucky to get to hit, have that pit stop between life and death, heaven and hell. Some of us end up just transitioning over to wherever we're going, you know? But, um, like I said, God walks with you. You get your faith in him, he will always have your back. I survived five surgeries. I did a whole lot of praying back then. Okay? I didn't just pray when I had to have surgery. I didn't just pray when I, when, when I was out there busting guns and people were shooting at me and all that. No, I prayed every day. And I real life lived by putting God first. I meant it. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I'm still here today. Again, I'm not telling y'all nothing. 
that I don't live myself. It's important. But now I want to let my lady talk to y'all. I want to let my fiance talk to y'all. Y'all always hear a lot from me. And you know, me and her, we have talked. Now again, I'm keeping it real with y'all. I let y'all into our daily lives. We have talked. And I have told her, you know, I realize sometimes, babe, you know, I say a lot and I don't give you enough time to, you know, talk to the people and stuff like that. So I want her to be able to give y'all 10 minutes to talk. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to be respectable. Again, everything is about compromise. This is her, this is her channel. This ain't mine. She's just giving me a chance to do what I do because she's always telling me, oh, babe, you have a gift. You have a voice. You're so, you know, you're so well-spoken and you can do so much to change lives because you're from the streets. You lived that life. I didn't. You can reach the people and stuff like that. Yes, I am. I do realize that I do have a gift. I do realize that, you know, when I talk to y'all sometimes, I tend to get carried away. I don't know where it comes from. It's, it's God working through me because I don't know nothing. I, 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 you know, I just tell the truth. I just tell what's on my heart. And I don't come up, I don't wake up and, you know, ask God to give me the words to say. I don't wake up and do none of that. I just give it to y'all direct. I'm touched by God. That's just how blessed I am. You know, that's why I feel like I do have a calling. For those of y'all who don't know, I do do music, you know. Um, you know, I'm very good at that. If you want to check out my music on YouTube here, you can go check me out. Subscribe, you know, GTS Label Official. Again, that's GTS Label Official. If you want to check me out, I do have talent. I do have a gift when it comes down to speaking. My music very deep. Y'all should check that out. But again, like I said, when I talk to y'all, I don't know why I get carried away. It's just because God has his hands on me. I feel like he has a bigger plan for me in life. Other than music, I feel like he wants me to touch people, talk to people, you know, and I, and I do that often. So, again, I want to let my lady talk to y'all. Cause I'm a compromiser, and I always want my woman to feel happy when she does what she does, cause she's great at what she do. So I'm gonna cook breakfast. I'm gonna let her talk, y'all. Thank you for giving me y'all time. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. You'll see me again. If you don't see me this Sunday, you'll see me in a couple weeks. Whenever you see me, you'll see me again. I promise. Love y'all. Thank you. Who we'll take it from me? Okay. Talk to him for like 10, 15 minutes. They won't hear you. Okay. About 10 minutes. Whatever's I just want heart, to say, to you know, um, it's, yeah, it is very important to keep your eyes on God because um, God will give you the right information that you need to do in life. And also, you know, just stay focused on him. You, and when you, when you put God, you got to really put God first. Put God first in your life and just work on your communication with God as well. You know, you can't be just serving God and not spending time with him. You want to also spend time with him through prayer, fasting, meditation. You know, when I say meditation, I'm saying close your eyes. You know, just think about what God done for you in your life and think about how far he brought you. You know, mm -hmm. if you was in the mm -hmm. hospital, if you were sick, if you had cancer, if you had AIDS, you know, doesn't matter what disease you had, just... One day, just sit in your room and talk to God. Read your Bible. That's and, right, baby. Talk to and, him. Just, and just meditate as well. And just just allow God to use you the best way you can. Kids. That's all y'all. We have kids. That's how it is. So just, just stay focused on him and everything you do. And just allow God to use you because, you know, the devil will use you as well. But you want to listen to God's voice. Because listen, when you save... And God use you. Oh, the devil ain't forget about you. Let me tell you this. The devil ain't forget about you. He going to use you too. He going to try to use you. He going to try to come in your house. He going to try to use you to do things. But you got to listen to God's voice and allow God to use you. And say, Lord, use me the best way that you can. And he will. So just that's our allow daughter. She God just fun. That's how, that's what she do. to use you. And um, just stay focused. That's my Stay focused on, um, on God and um, allow him, allow him to use you the best way. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's important. It's just very important that you that you allow God to use you. Because you know, the, this day and time, people they let they let the devil take control of their life. You know, we don't want the devil to control us. 
at all. You don't want the devil to be a part of your life. You got to know which, which voice you listen to. That's why it's important every day you wake up in the morning. You need to pray. Pray before you leave your household. Pray before you do anything because God wants to use you. I want everybody to know that. God wants to use you. You cannot be scared. When God used you, just say, Lord, use me the best way you can. And he will. So I just want to say be encouraged to everyone and just allow God to do the best that he can in your life. When you praise him, He's going to take you to another level. And when I, t when I tell you God take you to another level in your life, you're going to go to another level. Because it's going to get deeper. Just know it's going to get deeper. Because when God has saved me, my whole life has changed. I have became, you know, bigger. I have became, you know, in different places. He will locate me. To go to different places, I'd be scared to talk to people. But he said, "No, you coming out to shyness. This shyness, Ashley, you got to. Uh, uh, you're not gonna be shy. I was I, when I was growing up. I was the type of person. I was shy. I didn't like to talk to people because I just didn't like to talk to people. I was just very shy. I just stay to myself and everything. So I would just say, you know, allow God to use you." And just stay focused on his voice because, like I said, the devil going to try you after you got saved and you gave your life to Jesus Christ. Just allow God to do the best that he can for your life. And remember to surrender. Surrender is very important. And just fasting is your strength. I want everybody to understand that. Remember, fasting is your strength. If you don't know anything else, remember to fast and pray. Fasting and praying is important. Read Matthew 6 and 6. Read that and also read Matthew. You just read the whole book of Matthew 6. And just allow God. We just read the whole book of Matthew. And it teaches you different things about the Bible. And how how God do their things. You know. Just, just start reading your Bible more. Stay in the word of God. Because it's important. Because we are in the last days. And I'm telling you. The devil is going to. He's going to use you. He's going to try to use you. Definitely if some of y'all saved. You feel the Holy Ghost and all of this. You know, God is going to do everything for you. So just stay focused. Allow God to do the best that he can in your life. I just want to say be encouraged and just keep smiling because God love you. And here we go. Here you go, my fiance right here. Hey, you know, I handle it better than I do. I think you need a bathroom dude or something. Okay, come on. Hey, um. you need to use the bathroom? I have no idea what she took off from, but um, what I will say is, you know, when we when I do these videos, I do them. I don't want y'all to think that I do these because I'm forced to do it. I don't want y'all to think that I do this because, you know, my woman. Again, I don't want y'all to think that my woman made me do it. I don't want y'all to think that I do this just because I feel like I'm getting something out of it. I do this because I really, I actually really, really, really genuinely care about my people. You know, that's why I do the music, you know. My name is, rap name wise, I go by Black Conscious, and I'm all about, you know, teaching people new things, you know, and getting my message out there, you know, because I have a story to tell, and I feel like my story alone can touch people and change lives, you know. That's why I do this music, that is why I do the music. And that's why I do this right here. I'm here on Sundays with y'all because I really love talking to y'all. I want y'all to know before we go that, you know, um, I see y'all comments when y'all comment on our videos. You know, the love is definitely felt. You know, for those who see me on these videos and y'all say something about, you know, me as a man and y'all tell her how good of a man I am and you know how well spoken I am and Y'all say that I have a calling, you know, I thank y'all for that because I take that in for real, you know. Um, I take all y'all comments seriously, you know. I take what we do here on Sundays very seriously, talking to y'all, you know. The word, of, the, the mouth is a powerful weapon. You have to be careful how you use the mouth, you know, and what you say because the things that you say impacts people's lives. It changes lives, so I don't play around with this when I talk to y'all, you know. 
I thank you know all all y'all who tune in on Sundays, you know, to uh listen to what I have to say, listen to what my woman have to say, you know. All y'all who opened up y'all hearts to me that didn't have to open up y'all hearts, that was already just tuning in to ask your chosen one. All of a sudden, poof, I, I appeared out of nowhere. To those who, you know, opened up their hearts and um allowed me to do what I do with her, which is talking to y'all, allow me to, you know, become a part of y'all lives and uh touch y'all as well. I, I, I'm appreciative to that, you know, and to, to y'all as well, you know, again, because I know that y'all are watching, I don't play around with this, okay? I take it very seriously. You know, what I say to y'all when I'm talking, how I go about saying it, I take that very seriously. Because I notice people watching me. Again, the mouth is a powerful weapon, you know, and I don't believe in telling y'all something that can ruin y'all lives, make things worse, and I don't believe in telling y'all something and preaching something to y'all if I don't live by that myself. So again, I wanna thank y'all I appreciate the love. I see the love that y'all give. It's very humbling. You know, it touches me a lot. You know, uh, it definitely makes me feel great. Makes me happy and smiling to know that we're touching people every time that we do this together. You know, and then I and, and then you know, y'all helping us as well because when we do when we do these vlogs, you know, see, see they what they what they don't understand is you know when we do these vlogs, right? Mm -hmm. That. They don't know, but they help us to get closer as a couple. Yes. You know, these, these cooking on Sunday thing, this is really us bonding right now. Yes. You know, we had the kids so much, and we do so much with the kids. You know, just the other day, like I said, we let y'all in our lives. It's no secret. She always tell y'all on her own when she's doing a live sometimes, some of the stuff we go through, you know. Yes. But it's no secret, you know, me and her just had a recent conversation. Probably, I think, just the other day when I was like, you know, babe, you know, we do so much with the kids, we never had time for ourselves. Because yeah. we barely had time for ourselves. She works a lot. She talks to y'all a lot. I'm understanding of that. I be on the ground with the music. She's understanding of that, you know. So our schedules are so packed, you know what I'm saying, with what we do and how we go about things, that when we come together and we're around each other, again, when I come home, I call this home even though it's not my actual home, when I come home, meaning I come over to visit, spend time, whatever I do, when that we don't always have time with each other. You know, by time, by time, by time, before you know it, the kids, they're going to sleep. By the time we put the kids down, we're tired. Okay? Y'all parents understand that. Y'all can relate. I know y'all can relate to this. We're tired, you know? So, you know, uh, I said, you know, we need to, you know, at least sometimes... Start trying to figure out ways that we can bond more. Ways that we can make more time for ourselves. You know, and this cooking on Sundays with the chosen one, you know, this this definitely brings us closer. You know, because it's us getting the time together, you know. We just got a puzzle. We was just at the store. Andrew, come here. Just got this puzzle. You know, we're gonna we're gonna do that later. As a couple, you know, try to do things better. But y'all help us a lot too. Y'all don't realize that. Y'all think that we're always hitting y'all lives and y'all always looking and saying thank you to Ashley and, you know, saying, wow, you touched me with that because I was going through this and going through that. But y'all don't know. But wow, y'all touch us as well because y'all help us to grow. As, as you know, a family, as parents, y'all help us to grow as one, you know. So I appreciate, again, we appreciate y'all. I'm not going to just say I. We appreciate y'all. And I appreciate y'all for allowing me to become a part of y'all lives. Y'all didn't have to do that. Y'all could have, you know, when I came in, attacked me and been like, what is he doing? You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, this, we, we come to listen to her, but y'all didn't. Thank you, you know. And to those who watch this video, of course, the food is almost ready. You know how, you know how we exit. The food is almost ready. Again, thank you for giving us this. How long we been on here? 49 minutes and something seconds to listen to us. You know, I love y'all. She love y'all. Anything else you want to say before we go? No, have a great, beautiful Sunday. Be encouraged. Remember to spend time with God. And remember, God love you. We love you as well. Come on, Andrew and Nita. Say bye. Come on. Come on. Bye.